Hi, I'm Steve with SW Marine in Palo, Iowa. Today we're going to talk about the 2019 Lund 1875 Pro Guide. This boat happens to be a Pro Staff boat that is previously sold, be used in the next year. We will have another boat in the Pro Guide series that will be available. But we want to share with some of the features on this boat with you today, as well as some of the rigging that we're doing on this boat for the Pro Staffer. First thing I'd like to talk about a little bit on the 1875 is these heavier duty extruded gunnels on this boat with pop-up cleats on this. The outside of this boat has been accessorized with premium graphics as well as red chrome raised letters on the side. And carrying the boat is an upgraded customized trailer with Lungard, really a sharp looking boat. Now we're up on the bow deck just to show some of the rigging features that we're doing on this boat for the Pro Staffer. Uh, we do have this uh, with an HDS 9 touch on a ram mount mounted here. Trolling motor will go on the front of this. It has not been rigged as of yet, but we're using the Minn Kota heavy duty trolling motor quick release bracket. Now we're up on the front deck of the 1875 Pro Guide. As you can see, there's a lot of room on this front deck for fishability as well as a lot of storage compartments. Pretty sweet. You've got bow cargo nets up here on the front. Plenty of ample storage in all the compartments. You have a front live well. You've got storage on each side of your rod locker as well as plenty of storage here for 10 rods, for seven and a half foot rods on your top row, seven foot rods in your bottom row, in your center rod storage compartment. Your batteries for your trolling motor go in here under the panel, as well as your three bank charger is down in this hold as well. Now we're at the helm and we'll talk a little bit about the plenty of cockpit area in front of you with ample seat bases for adjustability of your, of your seats for positioning. Also on this boat, the pro staff are opted to get the upgraded pilot chair for this with armrests, pretty sweet. Also upgraded the pedestals on all of the chairs to air ride pads. This boat does come standard with pro ride seats. To right of the helm, we've got rod storage here for when you're fishing. Have everything right at your fingertips for getting in there and getting to your rods. There's also storage on the starboard side as well as the port side. And you also have cargo nets there for putting extra gear. Now we've moved back to the command center. This is where you have your switch panel for controlling everything here. Cubby hole for putting your phone or any other accessories. Radio, gauge cluster. You also have drawers here for putting extra tackle at your fingertips. As well as this boat comes with Plano stowaway tackle boxes for putting lures and stuff in. This boat has been accessorized with a Lowrance HDS 12 touch. Pretty nice feature about this command center as well. It has a stowaway compartment down here to where you can lift and lay everything right down in here to lock it all up. But it's a pretty neat, neat feature. It's also lockable. Hide your electronics. Okay, on our back deck then, we have our live well and bait well area with comes with minnow bucket. Then on this, we have the Mercury 90 EXL PT four stroke with the big tiller arm. And this is also with the hydraulic option upgrade on the tiller arm, passive hydraulic that is. Everything's at your command and fingertips on this. You've got your key switch, kill switch, shift handle, RPM control for trolling. You've got your trim switch right on the end of your handle as well as your throttle grip. Now we're at the back of the boat. Another thing I want to mention on, the, on this boat, this does have the IPS2 hull. Has extra strakes on the front of the boat. Adds to trackability when you're trolling and cruising. Some of the other features that we've done on this boat for this customer is that we've added on wave whackers on this boat 
some of the things we do here at the shop in our service department or rigging area. Moving over to the other side, you can see the wave whackers on this has a special cutout. There is going to be a Minn Kota Vantage going in here that has not been mounted as of yet. But it's pretty neat. If you look down a little lower, something we manufacture and make here ourselves are transducer blocks. They go into the hull and then we mount the transducer to it. Minimizes the number of holes that are being put through the hull. Thank you for watching today and joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a like or share. Information is on the description page. And have a good day.